All right, fans, we are fucked. Welcome, WF, WF Raw. Wanted to get it at the four o'clock hour, but I was a little backtracked. Wanted to change some stuff before we started tonight, but let's go ahead and just move on. Let's move on. Can we just move on, please? Good, because right now, we are going to kick things off with a ladder match, ladder rematch of the ECWCW World Television Weight Championship. Former champion Bam Bam Bigelow, Bam Bam Bigelow, will go up against the newly crowned champion Bray Mysterio. Hello, Clamps. Hello, Jesus. Jesus, always one of the first ones in my room. So glad you're here, buddy. <laughs> All right. Let's go ahead and make our way to the fighting pit. We've waited long enough, folks. Let's get on with the WFWF. I saw your post, Clamps. What the hell is this suspension thing? Did you kill the commentary team at your school? Hey, Wembley. Did you go Black Lesnar on everyone? Clamps, not, not Wembley. Marco Matic. What's up? It's Marco Matic. Toad. Hello. Good evening. <laughs> Went to the movies and this chick gave me and my friend a a bead or a hand. I, I don't know. Rey Mysterio boarding one of the belts. Good they don't let you do double gold fucking uh, ladder matches. Oh yes, Packy, Bray Mysterio. Valkyrie! I hope you're feeling better, sweetie. I saw your post today. Ah, give them an old fashioned. Shit, man. I gotta tell you, Clamps, you lead an interesting life, my friend. Because the, the chicks my age and even back then, they were not doing things. So. Yeah, hopefully it's a 24 hour thing. Tim, good to see you. Now, nah, trust me, Clamps, when you get older, <laughs> this shit will be very interesting, I tell you. Speaking of interesting, Bam Bam Bigelow making his way to the ring. In high spirits, either that or he's just holding back the rage until the bell rings. No such thing, Valkyrie. Beauty does not get sticky ugly, as you quote. Even when you're sick, it just means that you need to rest. You need to rest from being gorgeous all the time. So. There's an Enzo Gary by Bray Mysterio. Nice Halloween havoc get up there. And already going to work on Bam Bam as he hammer throws the new crown champion, Bray Mysterio, who bought himself some new gear again. Wow, that's a big diving headbutt there by Bam Bam. Bam Bam is in control. Interesting clamps. Really, will she? Is she of age? I'm fucking with you. 
That's an interesting life right there, man. From from somebody who really doesn't have an interesting life, I can tell you that is something. That is something to write about. You should write your ordeals. And now Bray, Bray Bray, kicking the baby out of Bam Bam Bigelow Sponsor. Going out to the outside to grab the ladder. Oh shit, this can't be good. Will it be a face buster? Will it be a suplex? Looks like it's gonna be a suplex. And a big one at that. Almost a brain buster by Bam Bam. Definitely in control. Now where's Bam Bam going? Work in the back to make sure that he is unable to climb a ladder. The crowd getting behind this. Trust me, Clamps, I know your pain. More than you'll never know. Belly to back suplex. Here. Clams, from what I understand, you are a much more attractive person and more smart than I am. Just keep pursuing. Don't ever doubt yourself. Yow! As Shinzu Blake, Blake Amura our special guest in the audience here. That is Bray Mysterio with his Halloween Havoc gear against Bam Bam Bigelow. Fans are chanting boring. They want to see ladder and table spots. Well, they'll get the ladder more than the table. Blake is one of the coolest dudes I know. I tell you that. Bray Mysterio, Blake. Up into the corner now. Bam Bam with a knee to the huevos. Huevos de purple. I don't know how to say purple in Spanish, so. Going to the top, this could be the signature headbutt. No, Bray keeps getting up. Bam Bam now, no, trying to go for another whip. Bray gets him in there. Indeed, battle of the body suits. Goes in. Oh, Stratus faction. No, it's the Mickey J uh, thing, isn't it? Satisfaction was the, the, the bubble gun. Or no, that was Terry Funk. Sorry. That ladder setting up on the outside. I want to see a spot, damn it. Now, hopefully, Bam Bam can land this move if he stops standing there and pussyfooting around it. Go for the move. Just go for the move. You son of a bitch, Bam Bam. <laughs> Just, oh my God, Bam Bam, if you don't land this move soon, I will kill you again. Just pull the fucking move. Stop holding! What the hell? <laughs> Whips him again. Oh, Christ almighty. Just go to the top! <laughs> Do it. Do it! I hate Bam Bam! I hate Bam Bam right now! <laughs> this is bullshit! Thank you, Bray! For Christ's sakes, that spot was not gonna go off. It should have ended at two tries. And now, Bray, looking to go home! Fuck this, I'm going home. Hey. <laughs> and now, Bam, he got the belt! This was the worst ladder match ever! Bam Bam, you idiot! Get off the ladder! This was the worst ladder match ever! Hi, Trapper. Good to see you. 
That was easy. There goes the first 10 minutes of this. Yes, he is shoot winning. Holy shit. And Bray Mysterio is even in disbelief. He's like, this match should have gone longer. But fucking Bam Bam decided to take forever. Indeed, Bam Bam is probably going to have to go back to development for this one. And there is your winner, Bray Mysterio. You missed 10 minutes of this, and it wasn't that great, Agent. So... <laughs> All right, let's get the hell out of here. All right. Indeed, Bray is a fan of... Well, he's doing the WCW Halloween Havoc gimmick from my favorite wrestling match of all time. Rey Mysterio versus Eddie Guerrero. All right, fans, I feel like we, we fucked you on that, so let's go ahead. <laughs> let's go ahead and turn this into a double oro match. As the Cruiser for Bruiserweight Championship is now on the line. This is balls count anywhere. You know the rules, folks. As our good buddy, Sammy Zane. You know what? Sammy, Sammy is going to take on that coffee. Could certainly use a cup of coffee. So. <laughs> true, Wembley, true. <laughs> All right, here we go with Coffee Kingston. Takes on Sami Zayn for the Cruiser for a Bruiserweight Championship. He got that coffee, that black coffee. SOS, I am not shouting. SOS, but I'm a pirate. There he is, Coffee Kingston. The black pirate of, the dark pirate of dark waters. <laughs> I need some shame. Walk the shame. You walk the plank. There we go. The sound of cannon fire lets you know that coffee has uh, has came in. I, I don't know the ship terms. Anywho, skanking like he means it, like he always does. Sammy Zayn, the cruiser for a bruiserweight champion. The belts look great on him, don't they, folks? buddy there he is Sami Zayn putting the double gold on the line who will be able to hold the double gold we all miss the cruiser titles referee Paul Reiser Jr. holding up those belts they almost look the same as the champion Sami Zayn taking on Kofi Kingston Let's ring that bell, Paul. Mad about you. All right, there we go. There's a lockup. Sammy now with the go behind on Coffee. Coffee trying to figure out a way out, but no, he'll have to figure out a way to get out of the side headlock from that takedown of Sammy Zane. And a noogie. Breaking it up. Goes into another lock. Going to a wrist lock. Wrenching it in now. Could be going for a hammerlock following. Oh, that predicted it. Now Coffee trying to find a way. Gets the reverse there. Now Sammy. 
thinking to himself, how do I get out of this simple? By putting it into a Fujiwara armbar. They're thinking coffee's in the ropes. Should they break this? Not in WFWF, folks. If we have a rope break, it's because the stupid ass tag matches or whatever. With that beautiful drop kick there. Tagged coffee right in the mouth. Nice Hude Rana by Coffee. Drops the knee right on the face of Sami Zayn. I'm awake now. This isn't fucking 2 a.m. in the morning here after a long day of shooting. <laughs> and dropping the gut, busting a gut right there. Yes, Mr. Kulo is awake. Or no, he's asleep in the van still. I had to roll down the windows. King of the Kulo is actually uh, Santino. He won last night in the new Legacy uh, King of the Ring tournament. It was beautiful. Very touching. And it's funny because uh, Dario Kulo called it before even the thing. He said, you know, don't even bother watching the, uh, the tournament. Santino's going to win. And he did. So he won a unique opportunity at SummerSlam. Of course, uh, trying to go for the... Uh, Unique, unique opportunity. Oh, there's a unique move. He gave you spoilers at the beginning. That's Dario Kulo right there. Oh, back elbow. Coffee really trying to use these uh, pirate tactics of hitting uh, Sami Zayn with the weapons. Sami's not falling for it. You don't know how it all happened, though, Clams. That's the thing. That's the kicker to it. One. No, a kick out at one. Coffee's going to have to do a lot more to take down Sami Zayn. Oh, thank God. If I had to go to Brooklyn, ugh, kill myself. <laughs> And now Sammy going world star on coffee. Head scissors into that hammer handle. I'll go to Queens. I'll go to Long Island. And now a Long Island of pain shooting up the leg of Coffee Kingston as Sammy takes the bat to him. And oh, Coffee tagging him. Throwing down the bat saying, I don't need no bat. Cover. One. No, a kick out at one. Coffee's been going for the pin attempts here. DDT dropping Sammy right on his head. The outside there. It's not that padded, folks. And there goes an E drop. Coffee blocks. Blocked by uh, Sammy with a knee to the midsection. Ooh, kick to the dick. Oh, slamming the back of his head. And there comes the cannon fire. Boom, boom, boom. Want you in my room. Thunder in paradise. Sammy is in trouble. Sammy is in deep trouble. Cover. One, two, three. New champion. New champion. Coffee finally wins something. He is not Shelton, folks. But he is the new champion. Sammy completely not in the game here tonight. I agree. He is a pirate because he just stole all of that gold booty from Sami Zayn. Coffee melting under these lights. Put your clothes back on, white boy. Coffee stealing more gold 
Just like in real, or the other promotion where the New Day stole those damn tag team titles. Those two cent championships. Hey, Ryder, good to see ya. All right, my lovelies, let's, you know what, let's go ahead and get into some Divas action, huh? How about a little Divas? I'm going to go ahead and play along on this one. God damn it, I don't want Bri Bella. <laughs> All right, fine, fuck it, we'll do Bri Bella. Bri Bella is going to take on... Ima. <laughs> nope. These two interesting female individuals. Here comes Bri Bella. No word yet if the lawsuit has uh, been settled, but her and, <laughs> and Nikki Bella, keep in mind, they are not related in this universe. They are like Sin Cara, basically. One had the gimmick in the indies, the other one was given the gimmick. And so now there's a lawsuit to find out who is the one true Bella, who has the rights to the name. Here comes Ima, high as a kite, sniffing them markers. I wish Marilyn Mason was in my room. Love them soft body hotties. Ima completely dazed, doing her mini Zeke Hiles. And this is how you enter a ring in Australia. At least that's what I'm told. You should check out uh, Y'all Ready for Emma. It mixes in the Y'all Ready for This. Da -da -da. Uh, the Samoan champion, the technical champion, uh, the work in progress champion. Oh! That, that definitely doesn't have two titles right there. Is it now Ima pushing her off over the top rope? And bringing her back in hard way. Suplex right into the center. And the fans are booing the shit out of Ima. Rolls through. Oh, and a nice takedown by Ima. Bri Bella. Shot to the baby maker. Oh, a Kia. To the key hunt. Whips into the corner, bounces up. Hit toss takeover. Driving the elbows now. Shades of her hubby. One of the Daniel Bryans. Missing that elbow though. He didn't teach her how to do that properly. Shoves her up. Whips in. Ima reverses it. Bounces off. Misses the body. Ooh, and a Norton chop. Bringing her down to size. And now. Lock up. Is in where we go behind referee Paul Reiser. Getting in the way. Let's go behind. Club to the back. And pulling her in. That was kind of attractive. Hip toss takeover again. Stumps. Springboard splash right on top of Ima. And they are still doing lockups. I think somebody forgot their spot. Elbow, elbow. Watch that chop down. Pops up, power bomb, and a cover. One, kick out at wound. Misses that stomp though. 
Ooh, and a back elbow right to the nose. And the stomp now. Turn her over. Toe hit to the back. Ima showing some aggression. No, back elbow by Bry. Ooh, right into the corner. Blocks it. Shot to the ovaries. Ooh, catches her before getting that whip. Ooh, and a shot time. Ima blocks it with an elbow, trying to get back into the ring. Uppercut and a slap. And a box to the ear. Picking her up now. Hard whip into the corner. Grabs her by her hair. Here we go. Oh! And a knee to the face after throwing her into that post shoulder first. Oh! Unsafe as Ema was getting up. That could hyperextend the back. Fracture her spinal column. Now bringing her to the center of the ring. She's pissed. Shoot Rana. Those are dangerous than shoot Rana's. And to the outside she goes. Bri Bella. Oh, this is the headbutt. The Kokeshi. The Kokeshi. S-H-E. And she hip tosses Bri Bella into the unpadded area. Kawada kicks. This is that double chop down. High cross body. There's a shove off. Brings her up. Airplane spin round and round she goes. Oh, and a drop down. And now putting the chairs to her. Oh, right on the tippy top of the head. Picking her up. Ooh, hooking it. One, two, no, a kick out by Ima. Reverse suplex. And now hitting her while she's down with that chair. Ooh, and a shot to the midsection. DDT right on that chair. And another airplane spin. And dropping her down. What is she going to go for next? Are you kidding me? Bri Bella. And now throwing her into that table. What is she going to go for here, folks? Oh, busting Emma's face right on the table. Cover. One, two, three. And here's a fucking shot. We gotta fire this director. I really hope that that is the rope. Bella. Your winner there showing a little more aggression towards her opponent. That weird smile on her face. It's really weird looking, folks. Will she be the new contender in the championship picture painted by WFWF Bad Blood? For Dananers. <laughs> That's just awkward looking.
I'm sure that's her husband, future Daniel Bryan. And fans, uh, you will be seeing hopefully some uh, debuts very soon of WFWF. We had to let some uh, characters go due to the fact that we've done pretty much all we can with them. So the Dusos are gone. They are disbanded. Samoa Joe Henning has departed ways with the WFWF. And I think that is it. So we've cleared up some spots, so hopefully we can make way for new WFWF superstars. Superstores, actually. Uh, let's go ahead. You know what, folks? Let's go ahead and see what we can do with this. The technical championship is on the line. There's no need to download Austin. He's already in the game. <laughs> As Lord Steven Regal, the technical champion, will be taking on Santino Morella. Let's go ahead and make our way to the fighting pit, ladies and gentlemen. As Santino Morella, a man who's completely changed his look and just style in the ring, taking more risks, doing more moves, hell, even with new gear, Um, is now looking for an opportunity to get some gold around his waist to bring back to the Snake Shin. One day we're going to have to fix this asshole's microphone. And sporting the fit fucking Finley jacket... The technical champion, Deuces. Lord Steven Regal. Keep in mind, folks, this is two out of three falls rules. Best of three is the winner. Two victories. That belt looks bent. And, oh, adding some modifications to the fit fucking Finley jacket. Regal making it his own. Look at that. That's pretty phenomenal, folks. Deuces. Here he comes. The Italian Kokeshi, Santino Morella. Power walking so fast. Third for left flapping in the wind. You can be whoever you want to be, Gamer King. Introducing first, the Cobra of the Snake Shin, Santino and his opponent. From the Blackpool of England, he is the current reigning and defending technical champion. Lord Steven <laughs> Referee Paul Reiser showing off that beautiful bent belt. That's what it's all about, folks. Here we go with the lockup here. 
Shoving him up now, Regal. Training the finest schools of wrestling and grappling. Nice snapmare takeover in reverse chin lock. Santino quickly back to his feet. And with an arm drag takeover into a headlock. Side headlock, mind you. Regal with the head scissors, wrenching it in. Those twerking thighs, slapping him off. And a European uppercut. Saying you got nothing, son. Takes him into a wrist lock. Into a hammer. Santino quickly reversed it. Fujiwara armbar breaking him down. And a standoff. The crowd is appreciative. Where is the applause? Now kick to the sternum. And Santino Maralala. Knocks down. Lord Steven Regal now. Whipping him into the corner. There's a the bounce off. Bit of a missed uh, perception there with that uppercut. Missed it again. Maybe she just stopped doing it altogether. It's him in a float over suplex. That's suplex one. By the suplex. Black fool from Blackpool. Damn right they do. Needed the midsection now, trying to block whatever Santino was going for. European uppercut. And a float over to the there, trying to get him off uh, to the outside. And punch it downwards. What is Santino going for? Oh my goodness, belly to the back. Suplex onto the apron. And you see the pain shooting to the face of Sir William Regal. Told you Santino was more ruthless. There's a throw off there by Sir William, or Lord Steven, excuse me. Damn twins. Knife edge chop. No, Santino reverses it into a Samoan leg sweep. Gonna go for those jabs. Regal brushes it off. Throws him hard back into the center of the ring. Going for a little bit of a goodie here, an enhancer. He's got a ladder. This is not a ladder match, folks. This is a two out of three falls match. Just by the technical rules there. Trying to roll through. Grabs that ladder away. And now, ooh, slamming his face onto that ladder. Scooping him up. Swinging around and drops him on the ribs. A bit of the sternum as well. Trying to scoop the air out of Santino. Santino now with those boxing jabs. Drop kick and a beauty. Nice soup play. One. No, a kick out at one by Santino. Shooting him back to the outside. Ooh, Regal this time not going to fall for it. Big potato. Suplex, a stiff one right there. Hey, bro. And now Santino got the stairs. Went the wrong way, though. German suplex into that wall. One, two, no, a kick out at two. Getting back to his feet now. Santino soaking up. All the suplexes that Regal is applying. Oh, and a face drop. Oh, did you hear that thud? And now Regal waiting. 
Good to go behind. No, Santino stops him. Probably stole a special or a finisher. Trying to go for that jab. There's a knife edge. Those potatoes and a forearm. Rolling Santino into the guard wall. No, Santino blocks it off. Kick to the midsection. Headbutt right into the center. That's old school technical right there. That's world of sport. Trevor. No, Rico doesn't even get a one count. And a stomp to the back now, Santino. Fighting with all of his might in him. A scoop. Oh, no, 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 no. Drops him right on his head. On the tip of the stairs. One, two. Th no, Regal kicks out. Cover. One. A kick out at one. He's giving him his finisher. Massive shoot headbutt right there. Regal is down. Regal is out. Throwing down the sledgehammer on those stairs. He's not even sure if that's going to work on him. Oh, and STO slapping the back of his head in the corner of the stairs. Picks him up. Belly to back. It's time for Suplex City. Swinging him around again. Onto those ribs. One, two, no, a kick out at two. And a shot to the head and a shot to the back. Santino is on Dream Street, ladies and gentlemen. Regal is just soaking it in, enjoying it. He wants him at 100% for it. Oh, no, he's got him picked up again. There's it is. Dogachi! Cover! One, two, three. The first fall. That is the first fall. Awarded to Santino Morella. Look at that. Belly to back. One nil so far. I mean, right here, the first fall victory. This is what landed it. Driving Regal's head for the second time onto the outside. Santino scores the first pinfall. And they're letting him hold the belt just for a nanosecond. Let's get on with the rematch. Or excuse me, the second fall. Seconds away, round two. There we go, folks. There's a lockup again. Regal's had time to collect himself. Now getting back into the technical parts of this match. To be quite honest, folks, I hope this goes on for the remainder of this hour. Takes us right into actual uh, Raw. Both men jockey for position there. Regal still has a little bit more strength. Chill, fan. Who'd you are? Armbar. Is it that wrist lock? Santino again with the reversals. He knows that he knows the tricks of the trade, ladies and gentlemen. And a reverse suplex into the hard corner. Ooh, and a nice senton there. That's a cannonball senton by Santino. An Italiano strong style. Dragging him now to the center of the ring. Oh, going for a... Oh, driving the knees of Regal right into the center. Got to pop them out. And another cannonball. Ooh, 
Ooh, nice follow-through pose on that chop there. Santino sweeps the floor out from Regal. Knife edge chop. That's a stereotype, Blake. Racist. Blakesist. <laughs> Kick to the back now. Hard hammer throw into the corner there. Now working the back of Santino. Regal really needs this fall. Oh, and that needed a head to probably do it. We go for a cover. No, wants to dish out more punishment. Onto the temple and spine. In the lower back region of Santino Morella. Looks into the corner. No, Regal blocks it with a pointy elbow to the orbital bone. Head butt, short arm. Anybody ever had their head in a butt? Ooh, there's a jab to the throat. Whipping him in now. Could be trying to whip him into the post. No, it turns him around. Kick to the dick. What an asshole. Rolls through. Gets up to the top. Oh, and a headbutt. That was kind of cool. Cover. One. No, a kick out at one. Ball through face buster. It's going to take a lot to drop Santino on his head and call him out. Drop kick and a beauty by Lord Stevie Reeds. I'm glad you did. Did you eat the poo-poo like ice cream? And a hard knee. Picking him up now. Belly to back suplex. Regal is awake, awaiting his opponent to wake up. And now driving the boot right into the eye socket. Going to the outside now. He should have stuck with him. No, Santino teasing the Cobra. He's got a chair. Oh, right in the back of the skull of Santino. Now shot to the kidneys. Oh, that one was a flat rate right there. him up. Face buster right on the front of that table. Oh, with a turnaround with a club punch. German suplex. And now Regal. And the go behind. Dropping those ribs on the knee. Could be trying to set him up for the Regal Plex. Oh, but he was not ready for that punch. Oh, what's that? He whipped his dick out, and he hit him in the face with it. And he is standing there looking at him, saying it was just a joke. Get your ass up. Regal is laid out. Oh, and a jab, and a single leg takedown. Now he's just toying with them. Scraping his face on the ringworm filled pads on the outside. Elbow drop. European uppercut. Insult to injury. Kick to the dick right there by Regal. Trying to go for something. Power the punch maybe, but no. Santino blocks it again. Another haymaker. And he's pulling his dick out. Pulling the skin back. Getting it wrecked. Oh, and he busted open Regal. Wiping it off now. One, two, three, new champion. New champion again. Fans, I would say I am disappointed, but you know what? I'm not, because this means, this means that these two are going to face at it again tomorrow on Man Event. And there is your new technical champion.
The Snake Gen has gained some gold, folks. Santino Morella has won a title. That is weird. He does not get the Finley jacket, for that is a separate title in itself. shit could we do here who won ah yes we do have a rematch here tonight folks this is your man event as the naked boy Ric Flair we putting his rematch now against Alberto El Patron We were all in shock. The following captain is here for a windfall. And it's for the cemetery. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Justin. And fans were in shock. Well, not really in shock, but there's a oh, here he comes, the naked boy, Ric Flair. Woo, woo, woo. I see with all his money, he didn't even bother to buy gear. Woo. I got the belt! Woo! 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 Double check the rope! Woo! 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 Pop it in! Where's it? Where's Charlotte? Woo! 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 The Samoan champion, the naked boy Ric Flair. He's still happy, folks, even though he lost the title to one of the most craziest and unsafest workers in the WFWF roster, the naked boy Ric Flair, Alberto El Patron, looking to regain the title that he has lost so many times, but has also gained so many times. So, we shall see. This guy here, he is the guy. That guy right there, the little pedal. It's true, you can't do so better for tricks. He's the current reigning and defending Samoan champion. The Naked Boy. <laughs> Jesus. Get him out of the ring. <laughs> Referee Paul Reiser. Showing off that beautiful belt. Look at that. The pride of Samoa. Adjusting his kneecaps, Ric Flair. Into a side headlock now. Over the top. I think he just did that on purpose. And go behind now with the shots to the back. Pulling him down with a backstabber.
Back elbow. To the side, headlock. Take over there. Wonderfully done. Different angle, please. Different angle, different angle. Thank you. Shot to the huevos. Look at the uh, <laughs> amount of pain in the eyes of Alberto Hepatron. He's now trying to make the naked boy pay for it, but I don't think the naked boy can feel anything. He's either high as a kite or drunk as a skunk. Oh, and a punch to the ding. Lifting him up. Noah float over. No a neck breaker. Alberto Hepatron fighting his way back. Oh, and he landed on his back. Give him a couple seconds. Ah! Oh, God! Ah! That's what... Uh, oh, there it is. Oh, and another one. Oh, God! Ah! The delayed reaction. Naked boy Ric Flair. Sell. Oh, and he poked him in the eye. And another low blow. Kicking his leg out of his leg. Go watch what you're grabbing. And now Ric Flair picking his ass. And now with the Fujiwara. Nice soul butt. Drop kick. The drive by. Off the ropes. Into Gary. A little bit of a boot heavy one there. Stop right through the culo. And now Reggie get in. He'll be with that mood to stretch. His leg is going into seizures. He's probably got some sort of nerve damage. Did you see that? <laughs> it was like the flash. Moving completely sporadically. Goes in. Drops the jaw. Red boots do with the kicks as well, and drop kicks from white boots it makes it look beautiful. And Zagari flooring down the naked boy, go for cover. One, two, no, a kick out at two. Now Alberto Elpatron has had some amazing battles here at WFWF in his tenure. Pops up, oh, and a super kick, look at the leg of Ric Flair go straight. One. Two. Two! He got the belt back! He got the belt back! Wow! What a finish! The naked boy, too drunk! Right there, the pop-up super perro kick. It is his destiny to be the Samoan champion. The campeones de Samoan. The belt has come back home to the burro Latino, Alberto El Patron. See. Si. Now play it like a guitar. This on these me holes. <laughs> Seriously, folks, I cannot picture anybody else keeping that belt for as many times as Alberto will by throwing. He loves that belt. <laughs> All right, well, we got the two matches set up for tomorrow. We got. Wow. We got Alberto up at throne versus the naked boy Ric Flair. And we got Coffee Kingston taking on Sami Zayn. That's tomorrow on Man Event. Until then, folks, let's go watch Raw. The King of the Ring tournament starts today, and the finals are tomorrow on the network. But until then, folks, signing off from the net, Wood. This is Dino Winwood saying follow this channel, follow me at Naughty Bobby on Twitter, and follow my Patreon. Support if you want, or just share. I love you so much. OU818.